Hi people, I just wanted to give a little video about my work as a psychic artist. Um, that's what I'm labelled as. I'm kind of inclined to think it is spiritually inspired. Um, and what takes place within a city, and basically there are two forms of readings or sittings that I do. One of them, um, them is the is the the painting and the reading which sometimes when people come for that it could be just to do with their spiritual pathway wanting more understanding wanting to know who is working with them um and we have many uh through our time that come through and work you know guidance can come from family members it can also come from even the animal kingdom such as the bear and the wolf and and spirit guides that come through and when i when i paint these energies I want to give it some physical meaning that they are here for this or this particular reason and bring that into play. Um, but just as a, a, a reading or a psychic reading uh, without the picture, um, which is something I do quite a bit of, I kind of would like to think that it's, it's an empowering element. You know, for the basic readings, people want some element of confirmation or they want some form of positive direction in life and, and I guess in a way the reading brings those aspects in to work with that um, so that's really where it's coming from it's an empowering element that's coming into play for the person that's come for the reading it could be there just to give some confirmation um, of a direction that they're already thinking about because you know when we live our lives we are you know we've, we've come from a past we've we've lived we've lived on this this planet this world we've had this lifetime for a number of years and you know there is you know there's wonderful and beautiful things that have happened to us but there's also challenges that we've all gone through whether they go way back into our childhood or whether they're into our young adult or whether we're experiencing them now as adult people and some of those challenges can have such an effect on us that it holds us back it disempowers us basically we become fearful of making decisions we we get the mind gets complicated and we're inclined really to focus on the negatives or the challenges rather than the positives that are already around us or even the positives that exist within our future and our tomorrows. So the, a reading can go into the past, of course it can, and it brings those aspects into play because I guess for some reason it's part of confirmation within the reading to say, hey, you know, this is what's happened, this is where it's, what it's been like, uh, but now it's all about moving forward. So we can't dwell too much on the past. We're all allowed a period of time to think about or to try and understand because our mind wants understanding, but we cannot, we cannot live in our past. Well, we can, but it doesn't help movement forwards. So it's about getting this person that's in this, this moment, if you like, because it's now, you, you know, I often hear people that the past has affected me. And if the past does have an effect on us, then it will affect our future. And that's where people can become somewhat stuck within the space. And there's somewhere we, we have to kind of move forwards, but that does represent an element of letting go of the past, which is not always easy to do. Um, but it's kind of part of the movement or the progression forwards. But a reading also can, you know, it can look into our past, but it's also here about the moment. Uh, that could represent where it brings up situations that one is within, whether it's finance or relationships or health, you know, home and family. You know, we're all dealing with the same things uh, in life at different times um, or even at the same time. So it, it may bring in aspects of where one is at this moment because we're also dealing with other people around us. And I do say to people, to change one person's life, we've got to change 10 people. So, you know, it could be someone around me that's going through the challenge and that in its course is affecting me as well. So these are the aspects that come up within the reading. And, you know, and people can become drained, uh, a lack of energy. That's going to affect their coping strategy. It's going to affect their self-esteem, their belief, their confidence. And confidence is something that we all need to have. We, it's something that is very, very important. So the reading actually takes in part of building that confidence and getting, I guess in a way, because I can see or read energy around people, I want them to leave shining that light brighter than when they came in. Now that doesn't mean all people come in that is, that is low energy. Now it doesn't mean that because people come for a number of different reasons. And as I said earlier, it can be part of that spiritual growth 
and, and want to develop that more. But basically for the readings that I do, it is about life and its journeys and the adverse effects that can have a, a negative impact on a number of things. So, you know, it's there to empower, it's there to help people make decisions and choices for themselves. We can wait for life for those changes to happen, but we can also wait a long time. So we need to address, confront, face, and we need really to be in our power. We need to be connected to self. Uh, and that's where people at times can have their lives shattered and they don't even know who they are, what they are, what they represent, and the fears come into play. So a reading takes all those aspects and kind of takes it and kind of gives it back to the person that's having the reading in a way that I want them to think about certain aspects of their life and situations that are going on. And so they leave in a better place than when they came in. And you know, even if it gives that element of shine, that light, that hope, but it does start with them in, in thinking differently about situations in life. You know, that favorite saying, to change our lives, we must change our thinking. And a reading is there to suggest different things to them or to leave, so they leave the room thinking in a different way. Uh, it is very empowering. It is there about, you know, people that are, because everyone is capable, everyone has qualities and uniqueness and, and you know, the, the element of what they have skills within themselves, um, capabilities that, you know, that, that can help them. It's just that the lack of confidence or the fear or the drain of energy that comes into play. Anyway, it's only a short video, but I wanted just to give some insight into what a reading is about, especially a psychic reading. And again, as I said earlier, I'm not sure that the, I think it should be an empowering reading rather than a psychic reading. But the psychic does represent our intuition, our mind, our thoughts, our feelings, because we are using all those elements when we're actually tuning in and passing over those messages. Anyway, have a great evening, and uh, I shall be doing another video very soon. So take care. Thank you. Bye.